Hello, reading kids. It's Miss Vivian from Lolavis Library. How are you? Today we're reading The Duck Who Didn't Like Water by Steve Small. Seriously, a duck who didn't like water? Enjoy! There was once a duck who didn't like water. Duck didn't like swimming in it or paddling in it. And duck didn't like it when it rained. Not even if it rained just a little bit. On rainy days, Duck liked nothing more than curling up with a good book and hot drink. I don't need to go outside, Duck thought. I've got everything I need right here. And mostly, that was true. Sigh. One very windy and rainy night, Duck was woken up by a loud noise and discovered a hole in the roof. Well, I can't fix that tonight, Duck thought. So Duck popped outside for a bucket and found an unexpected visitor who was lost very lost why don't you rest here for the night where it's warm and dry asked duck frog cheerfully agreed even though frog liked water very much the next morning duck said we need to get you home but first, we need to find out where home actually is. Okay, said Frog. Ribbit. So off they went. They searched everywhere. But they couldn't find Frog's home. So they stopped for some lunch. They set off again, but no matter who they asked or where they look, they still couldn't find Frog's home. So that night, they ate dinner, read each other's stories, said good night, good night, and went to bed. Ribbit. The next morning, Pelican dropped by. Hello, Frog. You're a long way from home. Wait, said Doc. Do you know where Frog lives? Sure, it's all the way over in the next river, Pelican replied. Need a leaf? By way of a goodbye, Doug gave Frog two gifts, a good book and a small umbrella. Frog said a big thank you. And moments later, Frog was gone. Days went by. Everything was the same as before. But it felt different. Something was missing. So Doc set off. A 
and though it rained and it poured and the wind blew this way and that Doc did not give up until quite suddenly Doc found Frog Home doesn't feel like home if you're not there, Doc said. And Frog agreed. So Doc and Frog returned to their old routines. They visited their new friends, read stories to each other, and perhaps most importantly of all, They fix the hole in the roof. The end.